this week trying out bookers for the first time. This is the 202103. All right, so welcome back everybody. Thanks for watching. This is actually the first video that I'm recording of the year 2022. So hey, if I didn't get a chance to talk to you on New Year's Eve, Happy New Year. I'm hoping your 22 is going good. I'm not sure when this is going to drop just because of the way that I do my videos, but this is the first of the bookers. So this is going to be me trying it for the first time, giving you my uncut reaction. And then maybe in the following week or two weeks in YouTube time, I'll have the long term review, which if things go according to plan, this should be gone. Now, full disclosure, like I said, I'm not sure how long you've been watching my videos, but I buy all my bottles. I don't take any money from anybody. I decided to get this bottle because I remember in the history of this channel, I've reviewed a lot of Jim Beam products. I had the, uh, man, I started with a Jim Beam white label. I did uh, Knob Creek, I think Jim Beam Devil's Cut, Knob Creek Rye, Knob Creek Single Barrel 120, Old Tub, and I remember, I think in the old tub video is when I said, you know, I feel like they give you a good value here. So even though the 90 bucks or whatever this costs is outside of the range I usually like to pay, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and just get them some business. So this is me keeping my word. Now, full disclosure, I did open this bottle and just let it breathe two weeks ago because I learned from messing with these Elijah Craig's, the barrel roots especially that Man, when these things first open up, they can be kind of hot. And this is like 127 proof, so I wanted to give it a chance to kind of breathe before I even went into it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pop the cork on here. Okay, so let's go ahead and pour a little bit in here. And if I can, I'll see if I can give you guys a little bit of the color. Okay, so this is the Booker's. I already got it open. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you the nose, but before that, I wanna take a look and see what type of legs we got on here. Oh yeah, I seem to be coating, coating the glass. I'm gonna give you the nose. <laughs> yeah, so the nose here actually reminds me of Old Tub, more so than uh, the Knob Creek. Yeah, it's that certain, if you had enough products from Beam, you know, it's definitely there. Enough talking, let's go in for the tasting. Wow, look at how the legs come down on here. Okay, for the bookers. Now, I had a lot of Jim Beam products on here. This is what I'm getting off the neck pour of the bookers. What stands out to me the most is the mouthfeel. Mouthfeel on here is crazy. Got a lot of good viscosity on here. Much better mouthfeel than um, the Knob Creek, the single barrel or any of them. But I mean, this again, this is that premium, it's that premium product, right? So it makes sense. You get, for me, I'm getting a lot of like peanut shells kind of, if you can imagine that. A lot of people use like peanuts as a descriptor for Knob Creek. I really don't get that on the taste, but on this one, I do get peanut shells on the taste here. The finish, oh, it's warm and you feel it. It's like slowly, slowly going down. Let me try one more. Yeah. Yeah. Finish long on here. Without saying anything, just off the neck, before I can tell you that this is the best bean product that I've had before. Is it worth $90? That is what I got to see because I can get the Knob Creek single barrel, the 120 for like around 50 bucks. And that may be for like a store pick or something. So I got to see like, would I rather have one of these or two of those? And that is going to be the question. But so far, so good. I like it. I'm going to have to watch this over some movies like how I do. And speaking of that, what I got lined up is I got to watch uh, two movies. Number one, I got to watch um, Don't Look Up with Brad Pitt on Netflix. And I also got to watch uh, the Matrix movie on HBO Max. So hopefully I'll be able to try these out over the Matrix movie. Don't look up in some series. Uh, 
I got to get into this Narcos Mexico because my boy has been telling me I really got to get into that. So, yeah, that might be more fitting. Me and Narcos chilling out with Booker's. And I'll let you know what I think. But so far, so good. That's all I got for this week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the long-term review. Cheers.